what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be trading one of my most expensive personal pairs of sneaker in my collection so there's actually a few sneakers we're going to be taking for trade why i'm doing this is because i like to always expand and kind of like liquidate some of my shoes get a lot more shoes from it fill up the set and try to get the value out of a sneaker at the top of its market now the shoe that is the most expensive for my personals right now not expensive of all the shoes that i have is these jordan one chicago's of course you guys know i traded for these not too long ago or like i don't know four or six months ago a secret that is really near and dear to my heart but it is a 10 and a half and i've worn these twice since and they are so hard to wear because i'm an 11 and a half in jordan ones another one we're gonna bring is the cpfm dunks right here i just don't find myself wearing these too much i absolutely love this shoe i obviously had another pair of these before i had a 10 and a half this is an 11 and i wore them like 20 times this these ones i have worn literally once so let's head to a couple sneaker stores and see what we can get for them i'm hoping about like five grand for those like five to six grand because they're used and then uh maybe like 2800 for those we're also gonna bring a couple of the shoes that haven't been selling on the website like these. All right, guys, we just got over to Full Circle. This is where we're starting the trade off. We only have two shoes for this. Uh, we're saving one of the pairs for the uh, next store we're gonna go to. I thought we'd go to two different stores and try to see kind of different stuff we can get, but we're going to Full Circle with uh, the Jordan 1 J Balvin's and then the big boy. They've had a pair of these here before. I think we can get some good value out of them. I kind of prefaced it with them before to make sure that we get kind of like a good value. Again, the goal is to, I kind of want to get some stuff. I need to get some stuff for a mystery box I have going out from the merch. And then I want to just get a bunch of other pairs to wear for summer. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. All right, guys, we made it into the shop. We are doing our first kind of look around right now. We have to give them the shoes to kind of look over and see where they're at, but uh, we're gonna go ahead we got to check out the whole wall here. Again, we're trying to look for some nice variety, as always, and they got a lot of good stuff here. So we're gonna kind of peek through. I'm going for a lot of used stuff, I think. I think used will be the route. We wanna do some used shoes and uh, some, I need to get some ones. The wall has like zero ones right now. So we're gonna try that out. Again, scatter, but I'm gonna kind of check in with you every kind of pair we find. Here with Pi, our formal representative, a full circle. <laughs> We've got some pairs for you to check out. Get some values, see where you're at. I kind of prefaced with that one. And this one I, I brought in because we just had it. And, uh, Hadn't done anything with it, so smaller size J Balvin. Nothing too crazy on that, but this is my this is my personal that uh, let it go with because they're two they're a size ten and a half and a good size. Well, not for me. I'm an eleven and a half, and I've tried to wear them, and my feet are crushed when I wear them, so I deal with it. But yeah, the insoles are out. I pulled them out just because I wanted to preserve them. All the original tags and everything. Still, I got I kept everything, guys. Pretty clean as far as use go. So. Yeah. You guys can kind of figure out which one to be at and we'll start looking around a little bit. Oh, yeah. And that's the original receipt right there, but it's super faded, undefeated. Yeah. I just saw a pair that I'm kind of mad. It's not my size. These storm blue ones up there, I really like those. They're 13. I thought they were like a 12 maybe. These are at 680 right now. I paid two, 40 for them when they dropped and now mine are like absolutely destroyed i don't need i don't need another pair of them but these are actually decent quality for dunks compared to like the highs now i think and uh i can't believe they shot up that's actually a really good price what do you think about these nick rate them mm, out of 10. i mean i like the colorway but not the shoe at all give them a rating out of 10. two <laughs> dang nick these are 2200 used i sold a pair uh buddy blake's pair for a thousand bucks for him on my website which he's probably hurting about now. This is not even my size, and the fact that it's too big, it's too small. Imagine that on me. I don't think I can pull it off. You had the croc nope. boots here before, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I got these two final. They kind of took the other ones. I think we're at like 11 pairs or something. So again, we went quantity 
over like higher expensive shoes. They have a bunch here, but none of them are my size. So if I went with that more expensive route, I'd want to get them for like a personal. And so a lot of them are smaller. They, the cause fours are close, but they're 10 and a half. And if I'm spending that much, I want to make sure they're like perfect. I know I don't wear many New Balances. You can tell I'm wearing the pants that Nick got me. I'm trying to not wear the represent pants every day. I'm switching it up, so. Those look good. I'm not going to lie, those fit right. Yeah, they fit pretty good. I just don't know about the cuff. That's the only thing, and like what shoes to wear. But Nick also got me this teeth, this gallery teeth, so. They have like no gallery tees here, they're all sold out. I only found one shirt. They got cleared out this weekend because it's summertime now. And uh, anything gallery, any of that stuff just moves like crazy. So I think this should be good. Good heat for the streets. All right, so we're sitting at one pair for 12 right now, plus a shirt. And uh, I think pretty happy with that. A good variety, a bunch of different sizes. So stuff in my size. So uh, I think that's solid for that. We're going to keep the uh, J Balvin's right now. We also got some shorts coming in. Shout out for sale right now. Unreleased, unreleased. These will be av available at our three year anniversary here in the store next Friday, which will be the uh, June 3rd. June 3rd. Yep. Thanks for the hookup on these guys. Sir, here are those. Check those out. Come by Full Circle Land if you want to see that. And uh, I think we're going to lock in this trade and uh, keep going. Sir, Happy with it. in here because if you guys didn't see we have two giveaways going on right now we have the one travis scott cactus air max ones right here this is a single giveaway and that one is with project blitz and then we have another giveaway that is just me personally where i'm giving away giving away a pair of travis scott jordan one highs right here or 1500 cash whichever you choose so head over to my instagram right now check out all the rules they're simple subscribe follow me and all that follow the rules and the winners will be picked in two and three weeks time All right, guys, we just got over to Perimeter Mall. We got our one of our big pairs, one of our favorite pairs. We're going to go and I'm only going to trade this if they give us good enough value. We got to get good value for this, so let's see what we can do. All right, guys, so this one is going to be fun because we have a lot of stuff in here that is going to be going back to you guys. So we got some different pairs here because I did my merchandise drop that sold out. Thank you guys so much for that. One of the people in there is getting a mystery box. I'm going to put that together with some of the shoes in here today. So I'm excited about that. But we've got a lot of pairs, 12 pairs for one off-white Jordan 1 Chicago. Yes, I'm going to miss them, but time comes where we have to part ways with things. There's a lot of shoes here that I won't part way with, but they have to fit. Like these Travis Jordan 1s right here, I've had those forever because they're perfect. They fit. They're the right size. So first up, full circle ATL one pair off-white Jordan 1 Chicago size 10 and a half used I wore them a couple times a good amount of times actually and uh these are all the pairs we got so starting off undefeated dunks you can't tell right here this is a size eight and a half these are the dunk lows in the kind of like cream blue purple colorway this is a solid pair didn't do as well as I thought they would but these were at 200 bucks so probably around like 160 ish on some of the apps again prices on the stores are different because they have overhead they have the ability to buy it right then and there so prices are a little bit different than online but there's obviously scandals going on with some of the apps lately and and that's why some people like to shop at stores rather than uh, apps. All right, next up, we're gonna go from the top here. We have actually a shirt. This is a uh, Kid Cudi shirt, CPFM Kid Cudi, Man on the Moon Kid Cudi, pretty cool, 80 bucks, not bad. I really like white shirts and uh, I just thought it was cool for 80 bucks. <laughs> Throw on a shirt rather than just be all sneakers. I'm on Manier, Jordan 12 in a size 13 men's, size 14 and a half women's. This is one of the larger sizes 
They have these at $600. These have been kind of rising again when it comes to price. They went down to about $400, but these are brand new, size 13, some bigger sizes. So this one will probably go on the website if you guys uh, want a bigger size 13. You guys know I always beat all the other prices from all the apps and whatnot, but this is a classic. I have these in my size, but I don't wear them too much. They run a little bit big, but 13 definitely cannot fit them. All right, guys, the day this video drops, there's going to be a website drop on harrisonneville.com, bunch of sneakers, but we're doing a closet drop actually, which is just a bunch of personal clothing items from my website, including a ton of different cool graphic t-shirts. I got tons of graphic tees here. We got hoodies, we got jackets, we got all types of shorts for summer, all that kind of stuff, good brands, stuff like that. So go ahead and check it out, harrisonneville.com. It should be live an hour after this video drops, which should be right now for you. All right, next up we have an Air Jordan 4 Military Black. These are a brand new pair that just came out really good these will probably be featured in an upcoming video when it comes to like top 10 shoes to buy right now these are sitting at 380 dollars Jordan fours retail is a little bit higher in the 200s but i think this colorway fours are in right now we all know that quality is pretty good on these and uh the colorway you cannot be it. this is like the reverse panda of the jordan fours i see this being one of the hottest shoes coming out this summer fours are in the panda colorway is easy to wear i see it happening keep going jordan one georgetown size 12 really good pair I think I'm going to try to wear these because I can wear a 12 and Jordan 1's. My feet are like 11 and a half, 12 maybe. So going to try to wear these. These are a great colorway. Navy is typically hard to wear, but these ones were at 450 bucks. I think that's a solid price point for a really good Jordan 1. Quality is a little bit better. They're a little bit stiff, but a little bit better than the uh, 85 neutral grays. Those are a little bit too stiff, but great colorway here. And uh, they're at 400 bucks. Continuing on, we have a Dunk High Panda, size 11 and a half, very popular colorway. Highs are not as popular as the lows. So these are at 250. The, the lows are probably be at like 300 in this size or 350. It's a very popular, but the, uh, the Panda is this good one. This is one that I got kind of to probably just throw up on the site, maybe throw a steal for one of you guys or put it in the mystery box. Next up, we have a Jordan 4 again. Yep, we have the red thunder fours i have these in a personal size right there and uh these are a little bit smaller size eight and a half again another one that might be in the mystery box but one that uh probably might go up on the site as well because i cannot wear an eight and a half if you can't tell i wear an 11. all right that's halfway through the first set let's keep going we have a air jordan one low shattered backboard these were retail 90 bucks i bought like five pairs in videos if you remember you could get these at the mall back in the day these are a size 12 so they went for 250 you brand new they're like 400 bucks now these used to be sitting at the mall i returned a pair i remember it we bought it for a video and they weren't my i got a 10 and a half and i thought that i wasn't going to keep them because they weren't that size so i returned them and uh now they're way up but this is a really you guys know orange is my favorite color so this is a perfect colorway. Keeping it going, another Dunk. Oh wait, not a Dunk, this is an Air Max. This is a Air Max 1 PRM. This is kind of like the golf, kind of golf shoe kind of colorway. Creamish, has the air going on right there. Obviously Air Max 1, really cool, really clean. Kind of a St. Patrick's Day vibe, not an everyday. The inside has like lemons on it, and it has a lemon on the tongue here. Really cool, really good colorway. Not a very popular shoe in my opinion, but size 11, my size could get away. We have a lot of uh, Air Maxes right now, a lot of good ones. Check them out. Keeping it moving, we have a women's dunk high. Oh, this is a fire colorway. This is like a vintage panda, but it has kind of a metallic flake to it. So if you check this out, got the panda there. The top is black and white. It's a little bit uh, reflective, but then you have a creamy like vintage midsole and creamy laces. Now this one is a size women's 11, men's nine and a half. So a little bit smaller, but really good colorway. I think these are a little bit better quality also than the uh, regular panda dunks or the regular dunk highs because the quality like i've always said is not that great all right we're getting down to it next up jordan one we've been missing some jordan ones here the, the shelf has been pretty low of jordan ones but we have a royal toe jordan one had them at 240 used pair size eight and a half another one probably going to be going up on the site for a good price for you guys coming up in the next drop and uh those are pretty clean two more i'm saving that one for last that's the heat we have a jordan one ajko it's an aj1 ko in the royal colorway not many people are big fans of these cool box going for 220 uh, not too far off retail. It's not a Jordan 1. It's kind of that classic. These were out in the uh, 80s and 90s, this silhouette, and it's kind of the retro of that, and I actually like it. It's not like a everyday wear, I think, but I think it's a cool, and I really like the colorway, and they also have an orange, which is a really good colorway, and there's a Chicago colorway. Lastly, from this first store, then we also have a bunch more stuff over here. We have a pair of Jordan 4, the pair that I've wanted for a long time in my size. Hopefully, they'll fit so I can wear them, and that is the Black Cat Jordan 4. These were going for $300 back in the day. Now, they are up to like 1,000 brand new. Check those out. These are almost in dead stock condition, worn or maybe trying on once 
So they have the original receipt in there from Foot Locker in Morrow, Georgia, purchased on 122.20 for $174. Retail has gone up on the fours. It's a lot more now, but uh, they had these at 700 bucks. Really good pair and a classic Jordan Ford. I'm gonna try to wear these. We've got some good fours and threes right now going on. I think that's a really good pick. Switch up from the shoes. Let's go ahead and go for the stuff and request. So they, uh, they had a bunch of stuff. They're actually dropping off one more pair of shoes and the box for this cause figure right here. Check that out. It's like a Michelin Man cause figure. They gave it to me for uh, $3.15, I think, which is a really good price. This is gonna be really cool to set up here at the warehouse. Just like that up there. Really love the pink, really love the pop. We had uh, 140 bucks left at the very end in credit. So I grabbed this Essentials tee right here in a size medium. I just couldn't really find anything else for under $200 really. So I went with this shirt just to kind of go for it. Then we got some heat. We have a pair of Jordan 2. I know I don't always come off as a Jordan 2 guy, but this is a Union Jordan 2 right here in the cream colorway. We're actually swapping out sizes. They have my size on the way, but I wanted to have them for the purpose of the video. These ones were at like 480, I believe, but size nine men's, 10 and a half women's. I think this is clean. I don't know if I'll wear these because twos, I don't know how they look on me. I'm, I'm not a big two person, I don't wear them a lot. I don't like the off-white two lows, they're just not my thing, but these are a little bit better, so we'll see, maybe I can wear them. Next up is a shoe that is fire. This is a Nike SB, size 11 and a half. I actually bought this pair for Nick. He did the video where he won, I can't even remember what it was, but he, I owed him a $500 shoe, and that shoe was this one right here, and that is going to be the mummy so i got him a pair of these never really put it on video but uh i got myself a pair now so we can match because this is dope this is a really good halloween fall shoe even other than that like the way that this glows is crazy i'm not gonna be able to get it to glow on camera but when you wear these outside and then put them on when you come back in they're crazy all right another one these are at 280 i believe a size 11 in the nike sb polaroids you guys know we like cameras around here there is the polaroid Pretty good like everyday shoe that you can kind of beat up, I think, because it is a pretty simple colorway with some nice colors. And it also comes with like five different laces. It comes with orange, boom, gotta put those in. You got green, black, blue, white, all the flavors right there, pretty good. And uh, these are like 280, so not bad at all. Next one is a brand new release. This is going to be a Jordan 1 release that is uh, just came out. Different colorway, kind of looks like the Travis Scott Fragment 1s, but in a red colorway, check that out. It's kind of got the same color blocking. I think these look really good and the quality is actually really good on them. Some of the shoes Nike has been releasing, the quality is like, eh, like the Dunk Highs, but these have a really good quality on the tongue here. And uh, I think this is a pretty solid colorway. So I'm gonna try to wear these size 10. So I'm gonna try to maybe get them in my size, but I think this is a good one to go for. And they were like 380, I think, or 280, 280. Not too bad for these. All right, so I just got the final pair. We forgot to pick one up bag up from the last trade with the CPFMs. And that is a pair of Union LAs. This is the Union Dunk Low in the court purple colorway. So this is my favorite colorway of all of them. Check that out. It's a Lakers colorway right there. You got the purple, the yellow. I really, really like that. This one is my size and I intend to wear them. So excited about that. Trade one, 12 pairs, one shirt. I think we got a lot of really great sneakers and recent stuff that came out as well as the other trade with CBFM with the trade two. We had five pairs and those ones, I got a lot of personal pairs because they have a lot of like the sizes that I need at those places. So really happy with that. That was the whole point of this is if I'm trading shoes, I want to get stuff that I can wear. And so I'm definitely gonna be wearing some of these. I'll put some on right now. These are a definite wear. Boom, boom. These ones might be more of like a daily wear. I really do. I like that. They're clean, simple. All right, I don't really want to put on 50 pairs of shoes or however many we have, but these are definitely a lot of good ones that we're gonna be wearing. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.